Alright guys, today I'm going to be talking about Backbreaker. Uh, this game, in my opinion, might be the biggest tease ever. Because it's, it, did, it did some things that we had never seen before. This, in my opinion, is where football should be going. It should be innovating, doing things differently. Not EA, same old damn engine that we've seen for 25 years. No, this this is the kind of stuff... Look at this play. I'm going to break it down in a second. This play, I'm not 100% sure if this is a play-action pitch or what, but in my opinion, I don't think it's a play-action. I think because number 55, Koamisi, comes in here and busts up the play... Dalton realizes he can't he can't do anything but throw the football away. So just look, give me your opinion on this in the comment section if you would. I don't know if this is a play action pass or not. To me, it looks like he tries to pitch it, but because Koamisi comes in here and busts up the lead blocker, and he doesn't really have a chance to pitch it. Look how long he holds it. I don't know. It could be a play action, but look at the ball. It bounces off my guy's head here. Yeah, this you won't see this in Madden ever. The thing about this game that really excites me is the thrill of impact. When you come in and you break up a play, or just come off and switch off a guy like this. I was Koamisi, but I switched to the uh, corner and made a tackle. There's just nothing like it in this game. Like It just feels like... It feels better. It feels more satisfying. Like, I'm going to blitz here. And I get the sack. <laughs> and I mean, getting a sack in Madden doesn't feel like getting a sack in Backbreaker. I actually felt very satisfied when I sacked Dalton on that play. As I was the linebacker, I came in and did it. The passing game in Backbreaker is hit or miss. Sometimes I just, I love it when it works. But it's very inconsistent in my opinion. Maybe I just don't know how to play it properly. But I throw a nice one here to Wallace. But... If you look at my stats at the end of the game, you'll see that I struggled mightily throwing the football. And it's just, it doesn't have the kind of control that, that I'm looking for in a football game. But maybe I just haven't mastered the aspects of it, the intricate details. But I do a nice pass here as well, going down to the tight end. But in this game, it just, it just is so touchy. I don't understand why sometimes I complete a pass and then I throw another pass the same type of pass and it doesn't have the same impact uh, I'll show you later in the video where I have this example where I throw the, the same route three times and all time all three times it's incomplete I like this play here there are some times like I said where you, you feel like oh yes that's a great play like here to Wallace it was actually a comeback but he goes he goes towards the end zone I don't actually know why he did that but I'm not going to complain. I like the result of the play. This is the best part about Backbreaker. Like I said before. The impacts. The, the tackle animations. Just look at this play. Boom! <laughs> I love this. I like. I can't get enough of this part of the game. If the rest of the game could have some years like Madden. Just a few years. It could be something incredible. And this is why we shouldn't support EA. Because look at, look at the innovation that this company did. Like this... This is something that we should be seeing on a regular basis now, but we're not. Look at this fumble here. Like, <laughs> I annihilate the guy in the backfield. I should have been a penalty in my opinion, but I don't know. Is this a penalty? Like, he gets knocked down. Backwards pass. That's a live ball. I'm telling you, man. EA has, has screwed us so much. And like I said in my previous video in All Pro... We should be angry every time we play Backbreaker or every time we play All-Pro and we see how, how good, how good these games, how some things in these games are done so well. I love this play to Heartline here. Nice little out pattern in the back of the end zone. But yeah, we should be angry every time we see what could be. Like I say, counterfactual thinking. What might have been. What would have happened if... EA wouldn't have had these these licenses for so long. I mean, we're missing out on stuff like this. Like, this is innovation, guys. This is where we should be going. But we're stuck with the same old crap over and over. We we, we need to see more companies like uh, 505. This a Euphoria engine. I mean, this is where it should be going. 
and I can't stress it enough. I mean, EA just, they don't care because they have the license. They know people are going to buy their product because they have the license. And there's ignorant people out there that don't know any better. Or just don't care about sim football in general, I guess. Maybe we're just not big of big enough. I love this catch by Wallace. You'll see that on Sunday. Maybe not this year, but you'll see it by other players, maybe. That was on third and 33. What the hell? Now, back to what I was saying about us not being big enough. Perhaps the audience for sim football just isn't as big. I mean... I've come to realize that maybe the reason why we're not getting the kind of product that we want is because we're a small piece of the pie, in other words. Like, a lot of people don't care about sim football, so why would EA cater to that audience? I don't know, it's just a thought. Maybe we can ponder on that thought for a while. And like I said, it's not all going to be roses for Backbreaker. There's so many things that I could see change in this game. There's a lot of problems with this game. Um, mainly, the lack of depth. Like, you can't do hot routes. You can't even send a guy in motion. This is little stuff, though, that could be fixed in a new game. But And that's why we need a new backbreaker. But look at this play here. Incomplete. Okay? I run the same play on the next play. Look. Same play, same route. It just, it just seems so inconsistent. Another, he should catch this, but he doesn't. Next play, same exact play. I'm going to try the same route again. Because I just know I can get it there. At least I believe I can. And he catches it again and again he drops it. Like, I don't know. Sometimes they'll make great catches in traffic and sometimes they won't. This was a, a game winner here. At the end of the game. I had to score and I did it. Just a tie here. But I want, I want to look at the replay here. Now, I mentioned in my Madden 08 video about how, how an effective a weapon the pump fake is. Look at this pump fake. Look what it does to the two corners. They just bite so hard on it and it leaves Gibson wide open. And when I say wide open, look at that. That is as wide open as you're ever going to see in a, anywhere. <laughs> and that's that's another thing this game does right. But in a nutshell, Madden has gone nowhere. We need to see more stuff like this. We need to see different kinds of football uh, games. Not just one type of football game. We need to see more competition back in the market. And we'll see more good things like this happen. Backbreaker was a nice breath, breath of fresh air, and we need to see more of it. And if we don't, it's, we're just going to have the same redundancy that we've we've been we've had for for too way too damn long.